it's a, an unspoken message to a young person who's isolated and disadvantaged that somebody chooses to spend time with them. The Young Persons Befriending Service matches adult volunteers with young people whose circumstances are difficult and often complicated. Um, the two then develop a relationship from which the young person gets benefit. The volunteer benefits as well, but primarily it's the young people and their families that benefit. Befriending offers a relationship to a young person, so volunteers are generally people who can develop a relationship with a young person who perhaps hasn't had a positive experience of relationships with adults. Actually, joined Glasgow Volunteer because I didn't want to give my money to people, I'd rather give my time. And I think giving time is really important nowadays and people don't give time to other people. And uh, I think I'm really trying to do something better for the community. When I started with Travis, I was given directive and kind of guidance. And uh, because my job is in communication, I noticed that he needed to be comfortable in a place, know the people he's with, know the environment. Then I decided to go only to Silverburn every Monday to enable us to be some basis and then from there we could go somewhere else. Silverburn wanted to get involved after the initial discussions with um, the members from Volunteer Glasgow and Befriending. Um, apparently there's a lot of youths, children within the local area who can't particularly get to experience some of the things every other day normal children could. Um, so this is something that Silverburn wanted to help out and give back to the local community, to the local youths, to help them with their social skills, to help them experience some sort of enjoyment that they maybe not have access to. I like coming to Silverburn because it's a social area where I can um, buy stuff and uh, like drinks and ice cream while I'm playing cards with my friend. Sometimes we go to the cinema and uh, like a couple of times swimming or theatre once um, and bowling. I like the friend because I had nothing the day. I was always inside, so now I get to go on Mondays and a couple of other days. So I'm not just inside the numb. Volunteer befrienders have told us that it's a tremendously rewarding experience for them and, and it's while they're with their befriender that the young person learns to swim or gets to go outside of Glasgow for the first time. Other times it doesn't matter, it's the relationship that's happening and the fact that at that point the young person's got somebody who's, who's listening to them and holds them in positive regard. I can see a big change because if I wouldn't say Travis, he wouldn't have anyone to talk to, uh, he wouldn't leave his house, I mean he stays in his house all week, he plays video games, he doesn't have a real social life. So coming here every Monday with Travis, having an ice cream, playing cards and having a little bit of banter, give him just little positiveness in his life and uh, now I feel like he's more open to people. The befriending services is open to young people aged between 8 and 18. We've got people like Pierrick who volunteer as a befriender. Um, we have got people who offer skills in admin and IT, group work and photography. We've also got organisations that help us out. Um, Silverburn Shopping Centre have been very generous. Um, they funded a day out to the safari park for young people. Um, they've also offered quiet space for befriending matches and that can be very important. The fire service has also provided quiet space for befriending matches and they've accommodated uh, tours of the fire station which is very exciting for people. We've had support from two hotels, um, one of which offered a, a visit for a befriending match to their kitchen which was tremendous for the young person because he's, he's looking to become a chef. So people support us in all sorts of ways and um, if you think you have something that you could contribute then please get in touch with us. Um, you can contact us by phone um, or email or you can pop into the office. We'd be delighted to speak to anybody who feels they've got a contribution to make.